It's a great privilege to be back in the house of the Lord once again. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you who are worshiping with us this morning. And we are showing that if you are here seeking a blessing, a blessing is in store for you. We are here to thank the Lord for his many mercies, to praise him and appreciate his holy name. For certainly he has been good to all of us. Sheena, we're happy to have you in service with us this morning and trust that you will be special blessed for being here. May God bless you and all of us who are visiting. We want to go to the Lord in prayer and ask his blessing on this service. And um, at this time, I'm going to call on Brother Roy Farron. I ask if you would kindly stand and remain standing for the congregation of him. Number 314, which will be displayed on the screen. Brother Roy. Let us all pray. Our eternal God, our loving Father, we give thanks to you, Lord, for another brand new year. Yes. Yes. And bring us here together again to learn about your goodness yes. and your mercy. Yes. We pray as we get here this morning, everything that should be done, Lord, it will be your honor, to your praise, to your glory. Yes, we pray, God, that you will touch hearts, souls, and body yes. this morning. And if there's any that be sick amongst all God us this morning, I pray in the name of Jesus, yes. rest your hand upon such individuals, when you can discharge the plans of Satan, and let the devil know that we are holding on in Jesus, because you are the best. Remember, Mother Richard, bless the Lord as he bring forth whatsoever should we bring forth this morning to touch heart. Remember, oh God, your servant, your pastor, as you speak this morning. Some of will be touched, Lord, and come to know Jesus Christ as the personal loving Savior. Take full control of this service. Lead it and direct it, Lord. And whatsoever should be done, it will be done. Praise and thanks to your glory and to your hand. We say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, 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 lead us in our congregation, amen. Sing in hymn number 314, will also be the spirit of the screen. Good morning, church.
on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach the deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh the harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that weepeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that same truth, one soweth and another reapeth. I send you to reap that whereon he is sowing his labor. Other men labor, and ye are entered into their labors. Altogether, and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Amen. The announcements are as follows. We invite you to come back and worship with us this evening. So we'll call a singing start at 645 and the evangelistic service starts at 7 p.m. Please remember this and support the service if you possibly can. Also, on Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, we have a young people's meeting, and we invite you to come back and participate in this meeting as well. We also have a special announcement. The Georgetown Happy Seniors present picnic time. The dates are Tuesday, the 19th of January. The venues came on Kai. The time is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The bus will leave the Church of God of Prophecy at 9 a.m. And that's the church close by Uncle Bales. Please call Sister Darlene and book your seat if you intend to attend this function. At this time, we will now be favored with the duet by Sister Rhonda and Brother Isaac.
Thank you very much, Sister Rondon, for that exactly that beautiful selection. May the Lord continue to bless you as you use your talent for Him. And as they were singing, I had to think. I thank God the day that Brother James answered the call to pastor this church. He has been faithful and led by example. And it is my privilege once again to call on him to bring this morning's message. Let us listen attentively. Let us pray for Brother James. And with open and receptive hearts, I'm sure a blessing is in store for us. Amen. Brother James, may God bless you to speak to us in today. I'm very thankful for having service this morning. Amen. And to see everyone that's here. Amen. I try my best to follow the leading of the Lord in all of these services. Yes. And I'm sure that um, the two congregational songs that were sung here this morning were a little bit different than we sing on Sunday morning. But they were beautiful songs and beautiful songs. Because it's more than a few months. This big thought that I have on my mind today. And uh, I have a short question. You know, it's, it's always a struggle sometimes to find a subject for every service to preach. For the thought that you have on your mind. However, the Lord never fails us. Amen. Amen. I have a short question to ask before you read the scripture. Why not Jesus? Amen. Amen. So true. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, 28 to 33, and then I'll read from Mark 1. Matthew 6, 28 to 33. And why take ye thought for women? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, how they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. Therefore take no thought saying what we shall eat, or what we shall drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed. For after all of these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And from Mark chapter 1, 16 to 18. And as he walked, referring to Jesus, now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. Three things will make life worth what living. A self fit to live with, a faith fit to live by, and a purpose fit to live for. A man by the name of J. Holmes wrote, and I quote, Faith enables us to move through the storms, carrying our calm with us. I would like the congregation to sing one more song. We're going to sing number 309. From the hymn of number 309. I am so glad. Yes. Let us all stand. I am so glad that I'm proud of you. Yes. Think about these words as we sing it. I am so glad that our Father in heaven held up his love in the world he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see.
thing in life you will understand. There is not everything in life you will understand. There is not everything about living for the Lord you will understand. But we understand enough to know that Jesus is out. And that we can be a part of his fold. There are many things we never will understand. If we understood it all, we would be like God. But thank God he has given us the ability to reach out to him. Nobody needs to leave the void of his grace. Nobody. A man by the name of O.W. Holmes wrote, The greatest thing in this world is not so much where we are, but in what direction we are moving. And Solomon thought it wise to think over our path and take the right one. He said in the fourth chapter of Proverbs, in verse 26, Ponder the path of thy feet. And let all thy ways be established. Jesus offers the best. Amen. Thank God. Pepper Box wrote, Success is not in the way you walk the path of life each day. It is the little thing you do and in the thing you say. Success is not in getting rich or, rid or rising height of fame. It's not alone in winning goals which all men hope to claim. Success is being big of heart and clean and broad in mind. It's being faithful to your friends and to the stranger kind. It is the chil it, it's in the children whom you love and all they learn from you. Success depends on character and everything you do. Amen. The end of COVID. Thank God for the truth. Amen. Let me tell you something, friends. The Bible is a guideline. Yes. The world is moving away from this. Yes. The masses of the people in the world today are following the crowds yes. and following what people say to them. Yes. The church of God, the church in general is based on this, yes. on the Bible. Amen. The doctrines and teachings of the church are from the Bible, yes. not what the church wrote, Amen. but from the Bible. Amen. And you need to read this for yourself. Yes. And study this for yourself. Jesus said we should do that. Yes. And be sure that what you're reading and seeing here is right. The Bible says all scripture yes. is given by inspiration of God. Yes. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, me, that the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Why not Jesus? What a question. What did Jesus mean in the scripture in Matthew that I read? He spoke of the lilies. He spoke of the lilies. Yeah. You know what a lily is? He said he clothed them. Yes, yes he did. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You can't get away or get around what God did. Yes. You cannot do it. And you cannot miss out on his creation. You miss it on the whole thing. It's a wonder. The human life alone is a marvel. It's a mystery. The Bible says the new birth is a mystery. Yes. That's why a lot of people don't understand. Mm -hmm. You have to experience that to understand what it is. Yes. That's why Paul said it's a peace that passes all yes. understanding. Yes. Many educated people don't understand. That's true. Yes. Many uh, different kinds of people don't understand this peace mm -hmm. no. that the Bible is talking about. And why take ye thought of what is doing a part of this too? Chapter. I'm not going to the whole thing. And why take ye thought for Raven? He's asking a question. Yeah. Why take ye thought for Raven is closed? Yes. Consider the lilies yes. of the field, how they grow. Yes. Hmm? Yes. They don't 
toy? No. They don't work? No. They don't spin yarns? No. Make, make cloth? And thread? And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed with one of them. What a God. Therefore, if God so clothed the grass of the feet, which today is, which means it withers. A flower blown for a while and it's gone. Yes. That's how life is compared to. Yes. Uh, uh, the yes. flower fields. Yes. Today is up, tomorrow gone. Yes. Hmm? Amen. Therefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Amen. Amen. Oh, ye of little faith. Yes. This whole six chapter days of faith. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What we shall eat, or what we shall drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed. We need more faith. Amen. We really need more faith. Amen. This is how our forefathers had to live. They didn't have it stocked up. They didn't have any money to speak of. A couple of cents born of a handkerchief. That's what they had. They didn't have much money. They had to, they had to trust God for tomorrow's needs. That's true. And some of those mothers and fathers had to take it from themselves, give it to their children to feed them. Why take any thought saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where thought shall we be clothed? For that he knows all of this. For after all these things, the Gentiles see. For your heavenly Father knows that you have need yes. of all of them. Yes, he spoke of the necessities of life. They are necessities. That's, right. That's what man exists on. That's right. You have to eat. Yes, sir. You have to sleep. Yes, sir. You have to take care of your body. Yes, sir. That, that's the body. That's right. But he went on to say, but. Yes. Look for something different sometimes. Yes. Look for something else. Seek ye first the kingdom. How can you seek for something that don't exist? Hmm? Jesus said, seek the kingdom of God. All these things shall be out of you. In other words, put first things first. And he, with him, life in general is a Enhanced. What's saying here? Yes. Yeah, he calls and gives purpose in life. That's, right. That's what God does. Mm -hmm. Jesus called it two men. The Bible says he walked by the Sea of Galilee and he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, yeah. for they were fishermen. Yes. Come on. Yeah. And Jesus said unto them, He didn't preach for all. Hmm? Jesus said unto them, Come here unto me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. You know what a fisher of men is? Yes. Christians are fishers of men. Some people know how to fish, some people don't. That's true. Don't they see? I mean, yes. not everybody got the, the, the nick of fishing. Yes. Some people know how to fish. Yes. They know the kind of bait they use. Yes. Hmm? Yes. The kind of hook they use. Yes. That's why the Bible says, He that winneth souls yes. is wise. Yes. And I say, all the time, He that keepeth his boys up. Then they responded, they responded freely and gladly and straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. People who share the gospel news with others is a fisherman. Yes. For the Lord, yes. you know how to be some big, big, big uh, sermon? Yes. 
You'll be surprised the little yes. wording that can touch somebody's life yes. and change somebody's outlook. Yes. It can be the simplest thing. Yes. Through your course working through the day. Yes. One little word to some soul or some suffering. Yes. You know, cheer somebody up. Yes. Sometimes make their day. Yes. People who don't give up on others. All go to home in them right away. Yes. Uh -huh. Keep going. Yes. Yes. So, they learn and bake and throw it out. And the Bible says, whosoever takes it will have it. That's right. The cause of what we see here in this scripture is forsaking. That's right. Yes. Thank you, sister. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's what it is. Amen. If anyone will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross. One scripture said daily. And follow me. Many people have crosses. Some crosses might be temporary. Some crosses not, not easy. Some crosses not nice. But Jesus said, take up your cross. And follow me. Yes. The, the church and the world are two different things. Yes. Yes. Two different things all together. Yes. Christians are sought out yes. of the world. The Bible tells us. Jesus says so. Yes. Yes. Read the 17th chapter of John. And, and, and the 14th chapter too. I believe it is. And maybe the 10th. So. It's good to be able to live in God's world and, and to be able to help in assisting with promoting his cause. Yes. 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 The world is so secular. Yes. 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 Came out of become so yes. secular. Yes. Sometimes you need a word of it. All day and all night. All week long. Yes. Yes. You come to church on the morning, feel bored. Yes. Yes. You can't keep your eyes shut or open. Uh -huh. yes. Go and sleep and all that kind of stuff. Bored. Yes. Take a little time to live. Yes. Yes. All these old clothes and all this old stuff will be for a while. It's gone. Yes. 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 Your body. So, it's good to be able to enjoy a period of service yes. here with the Lord yes. and to help others yes. to see it. Yes. People these days are, are listening to testimonies yes. more than they are listening to preaching. Yes. I am telling you. Yes. Because people who give testimonies are their witness. Yes. They're telling them what God did for them. Yes. And if God will do that for them, he can do it for the others. So, men have gone down in history as the heroes of the faith. Heroes! And if they finished it here and won the reward, the Bible calls it the heroes of faith. The, um, the, the, in the 12th chapter of Hebrews, the cloud of witnesses. That struggled and struggled through the hardships of life that we don't have to go through today. Yes. And made it through. Come on, church. Yes. Made it through. Yes. Uncovered why was on horseback. Through adverse circumstances. Yes. No conveniences that we have today. Yes. But the faith, the faith, they stood for the faith yes. that was once delivered to the saints. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, even the Old Testament people, the Old Testament prophets and patriarchs, they, 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 were, they were believers in God. Yes. Yes. They did many many works, you know, and people last time they mentioned here. They died in faith. Right. <laughs> Some of them died in faith, having not seen the promise. Yes. But they saw it afar off. Yes. And they looked for a city yes. which has foundation. Who 
Get it on nickel, it's gone. This world is on a home. This is just a temporary abode. We're heading for another one. It won't be any more problems than that one. You will, have been, you will have made it. If you make it true for the Lord, you will have made it. Yes. Now we're telling this sort of school class there a few minutes ago. Paul said he pressed. Yes. Paul was a Christian. Amen. He was already a Christian. Yes. When he wrote the church, uh, uh, the Ephesian church, um, the Philippian church, yes. he was already a Christian. Yes. Yes. He said, I want to know everything there is to know. Yes. About the Lord, I follow after. Yes. I press. To war the mark. Where I can hear from the Lord, you're doing okay. Yes. According to your understanding, you're okay. Yes. Well, you don't know, you don't know. Yes. And he went that way. That was, he was humble. You know? So then the ultimate ultimate purpose of oh, the ultimate purpose is to be sure to end it well. Yes. And to complete the task. Yes. That is the ultimate purpose of the Christian. Yes. Yes. Not this guy born off the side road and move it out. Keep pressing on yes. the upward way. Amen. Benjamin Kennedy said, and I, I quote, It has taken me half of my life to discover that my business in the world is not to try to make something of myself, but rather to find a job worth doing and lose myself in it. Yes. You know what that song? Yes, Let me lose myself. Yes, find it, Lord, yes, in thee. Yes, yes. There are times people get saved who never really thought about it. Yes. But God changed that. Yes. Touch their life. Yes. The night I got saved, I was going to get saved. No, so, no, so. I went to sound about bench. But my father preached a message. Yes. My father preached a message that they sang a song which said, Give me thy heart, say the Father above. No gift so precious to him as our love. And the thought came to me, What if you do call me back? That's right. Let me tell you something, friends. Don't be afraid of serving the Lord. God knows all about us. He yes. not standing over with a, with a piece of wood. No, no, no. God loves us. Yes. Yes. I am so glad yes. that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the nearest that Jesus loves me. Once you get into this, it, it has its rewards, yes. both for us and, and for others. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. All kinds of things are being emphasized in the world today. Yes. Yes, sir. Very few people emphasize the spiritual. Right. Yes. Right. I've tried to keep this church level up. I've been in 40 years, and how much long I'll be here? Yes. In the past and here. But I've tried to help this church yes, to keep up a spiritual level. Yes, if you say otherwise, you don't tell the truth. Just yes, blow it up. Yes, I have emphasized the spiritual level of people. Yes, you can't just uh, hold a spiritual level up by just coming to church on Sunday morning yes, and Wednesday night. Yes, you have to do it yourself. Yes, That's why it's hard to work out. Yes, Salvation with fear and yes. If you get it, the hot water, back off. Yes. Rather commit yourself. Yes. Turn away. Yes. Live for the Lord first. Yes. 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 The, 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 the writer of the same Hebrews 12 that I mentioned a while ago, the beautiful scripture. Yes. Hebrews 12. That's a beautiful scripture. Um, if you start from verse 1, it's a beautiful, beautiful scripture. Um, I don't intend to go into, in, into that this morning too far, but the writer with the, the, 
was written with a concern that too much emphasis was placed on the ceremonial observances yes. of the old law. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You see, it took a long time for the old law system to die down and it drained out of those people. That, that's all they knew. Yes. That's all they, they had. That, they lived under that. Right. Jesus lived under the law. That's right. Jesus himself lived under the law. You read here, well, go to the response you're reading. You got up on the Sabbath day to read. Yes. But when Jesus came, he brought a new yes. and living way. Yes. A better way. Yes. A superior way yes. for the old decalogue, yes. the old covenant. Yes. Jesus brought a, a new covenant. Yes. When Jesus died on the cross, the old covenant ceased. The old covenant ceased and the new covenant came into effect. The new covenant was the old covenant was annulled. The new testament was sealed with the blood of Jesus. It's no longer the blood of bulls and goats and rams, but a contract and a broken spirit. That's what it said. Jesus said, He was put before you. And give thanks. Yes. It's not what goes into our mouth that defies the man who comes out. That's the Bible. Yes. yes, that's the Bible. And if you look into the book of Colossians, you'll see in verse 2 there, chapter 2 there, verse 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. In Colossians 2 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, yeah. which was contrary to us, yeah. and took it on the way near to get across. Right. Eat all the fish you want. That's right. That's right. You want to leave it too? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Jesus said, right. All that stuff was done away with Christ. Yeah. The, the Bible says, Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Yeah. The law was given by Moses. The law of Moses for, was for a time, the old death law was for a time for a certain group of people of the schoolmaster yes. to bring us to Christ. Yes. It all was pointing toward Christ. The reverence, love had to be clean and, and pure. Yes. Thinking about the love of God, the pure love of God. John the Baptist saw him come and said, The whole love of God. Yes. It takes away the sins of the world. Everything pointed to the new covenant. The New Testament. So the main purpose of the writer was to show the transcendent glory of the Christian dispensation as compared with that of the Old Covenant. It's two different things all together. Yes. These two don't run side by side. Yes. One was unknown. Yes. One was done away. One came into effect. The New Covenant. We know in the New Covenant. Yes. The New Dispensation. Yes. In fact, this is the last dispensation. Yes. The next event will be the coming of Christ. Which has not taken place yet. That has yet to be fulfilled. In chapter 12, he refers to the Christian race and how to, how to run it and how to win it. He stressed the importance of keeping one, one's eyes on the goal. The purpose of running is the goal. He makes it clear what to do to prevent spiritual weariness. Yes. Come on. Hmm? Yes, sir. What to do to prevent spiritual weariness? Looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. What he was saying was pause and consider what Jesus went through. In his life, and he will triumph. Yes, come on. Yes. It, it will it, it will eliminate the thoughts of failing. Yes. 
or dropping off the wings. We have not stripped yet of the blood. We have not gone that far yet that we can't make it. Jesus did, yet he made it. So, consider, think about it. Uh, think about Jesus this morning. Yeah. Careful about him. His unweariness in reaching out to people. Yes. Yes. That's right. Such as the woman at the well. Yes. He wasn't too busy. No, sir. To open his mouth to her. Business, 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 business. Everything is business. The church is overwhelmed in business. Yes, sir. Business, business, business. That's true. Technology is more business than one. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Yes, sir. That's true. That's true. Mm. Yes, sir. Maybe I had an exercise book and a pencil all needed. Yeah. That's true. That didn't break down either. No. That's what I started with here in this world. Leisures, books. Yeah. My wife. She treasured him for 40 years. Almost 40 years too. She was there. Yes. Books and pens. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't crush. And they can go back to them. So the business part of the church has increased. Yes, sir. Much than it used to. Be. The old people came to church and opened the window. Yes. Little gas lamp. Yes. A great belief to find yes. with. Yes. A great belief. Yes. Yes. The yes. But they worshipped. Yes. They sang, they prayed, they preached. Yes. The same way. Cool and ugly. Stay home. Think about the way he approached the unsaved. Yes, that's right. That's right. Gently. No, Jesus was confronted with a rich man. Yes. Needs up here. Yes. With the tax collector, they didn't like him. Yeah, and he said in his own word, if he had given anything, he wouldn't know you. Yeah. He knew what he had done. Yeah. That's why he was seeking Jesus. Yeah. He ran. He ran before. Yes. The crowd was going to small. Yes. Huh? Yes. Little of stature. Yes. Or stature. He ran up in that tree. For yes. to see Jesus. For he was to pass that way. Amen. I say here all the time. I wanted Jesus to come back on earth. Yes. If we would have a crowd like by a week. Yes. Do we know that Doc Doc didn't know the book? No. Jesus looked up. Yes. He said, Zacchaeus, come down. Yes. For today, yes. I must abide at thy home. Yes. For the Son of Man is come to seek. Yes. And he saved that yes. which was the Lord. Yes. You think about the way that Jesus took accusations. Yes. All the ridicule. Yes, they call him a wine giver. They call him a gluttonous man. Yes. They say he has a devil. Yes. The Bible says Jesus opened his mouth. He was laid as a sheep before the shearer is dumped and the slaughter before the shearer is dumped. Yes. Yet he opened yes. not his mouth. Yes. When he was on the cross, he said, Father, yes. forgive him. Yes. Father, forgive him. He prayed for the church. Yes, he, did. he had compassion and manifested compassion yes. for the lepers. Yes. One time he healed ten and one came back gave him thanks. Yes. Remember? Yes. I believe it was ten. Yes. One came back. One. 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 One.
my beloved friends. Don't worry about people partying on the shoulder. Or how many of you are doing well? Don't plan on that. Don't depend on that. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Not all love is real. That's right. That's right. He prayed for the church. He, he actually prayed for the church. Read John 17. He cared about his mother. On the cross, he asked John to take care of his mother. And she couldn't do a thing about it. Imagine. Gave his life mm -hmm. on that old rugged cross. Yes. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. For God so loved the world, yes. and he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For the Son of God is come. For the, hmm? the 17th verse. For God sent out His Son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through Him might be saved. You want to sing from the screen. Where could, where could I go? Where could I go?
Are you all on us here this morning? Yes. Be ready to come back tonight <coughs> at 7 o'clock, 6 45. We're glad to have everybody here. Also, next Sunday, come back and be with us. If you can't come tonight, come back and be with us next Sunday night. Amen. Why not Jesus? Amen. Think about it. Thank you. We want to be quick to thank the Lord for meeting with us this morning. We thank you for your presence here. As Brother James has said, please remember the service tonight. And if at all possible, come back and be with us, please. May God bless each and every one of you. We thank Brother James for attending the message. Sister Virginia, we do dismiss the service for me, please. Beautiful message. Yes. Bless yes. our souls. Yes. Let us pray. Dear precious Heavenly Fathers, we bow before your throne of grace yes. and mercy. As humble as we know how, Lord, we do thank you yes. for all your blessings, yes. your love, your salvation, yes. your healing power, your grace, Lord. We thank you so much for all you do for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us, Lord, to love you more, yes, to Father. serve you better, yes, to be Lord. faithful and true, thank that you. one day we might hear, well done, thy good and faithful yes. servant. Dear Lord, remember each one in the congregation this morning. Yes, Bless Lord. each one. Lord, their souls might be lifted up, might be blessed, Whatever their need might be this morning, you are more than able to meet it. Bless us now as we go our separate ways and remember the service tonight. Be with us in a special way. In Jesus' name we ask these blessings. Amen. Amen.